guys, it's Jill, and today I am very excited because this is the first day of July Camp NaNoWriMo. If you've been watching my videos from the beginning, so like, family members, um, you might remember that I tried NaNoWriMo back in, well it wasn't last year, it was the year before, so back in 2018. If you're not familiar with Camp NaNoWriMo, it's the summer version of NaNoWriMo, and if you're not familiar with NaNoWriMo, it's a month where you try to write a novel in a month. It's this really awesome community where there's forums and there's write-ins, and it's just like a really big support group of everyone pushing each other to write 50 words. Not 50 words, that would be easy, 50,000 words. And they have a website where you can kind of track your progress and it's it's really cool. Definitely check it out if you want to get into writing. But Camp NaNoWriMo is a little bit different in that you set your own goal. So you can set your own word goal or you can set your own editing goal or anything of that sort. So back in, I believe 2018, it wasn't this past November, but it was the November before, I attempted NaNoWriMo, the November NaNoWriMo, the you know, real deal. Um, not that Camp NaNoWriMo is not the real deal, but it's just NaNoWriMo is like the main event. So it went um, horribly. It went so awfully. I, I don't know the exact number. I believe it was like, I got to maybe like 1500 words, something like that. And that's how much you're supposed to write in a day. And I think that's because it was my junior year of high school. And your junior year of high school, at least at my school, is the hardest year. And so I did not do well. I also took a trip to Georgia, which I do have a vlog on that. I'll link it. And in that vlog, I say that I'm writing for NaNoWriMo. The point is, I had a lot going on that month, and it didn't go very well. So this past November, I thought about doing NaNoWriMo, and then I just didn't because I think... I'm trying to think of what I was doing in November. I feel like I already had my college applications filled out and stuff, but I think I just knew I had a lot of other things to do to get ready for college, and so it just wasn't the right time for me to focus on writing. Back in 2018, whenever I did do NaNoWriMo, or tried to at least, the reason I said you might remember that video is because I posted a video talking about my history with reading and writing and like why I love it and big drawn out video about my NaNoWriMo plans and whatnot and I remember I posted it and it was kind of a bad idea to post it before I actually did NaNoWriMo. It would have been smart to post that in my NaNoWriMo vlog if that makes sense because then I had posted the video saying I'm gonna do this and then later people were like well did you do it and I was like well no but like Ugh. some of you might know this about me but if you're watching this for the first time I am Miss Teen America 2019 and as a pageant girl, you always have a platform or issue of concern that you kind of spotlight in your pageant endeavors, and it's really your your big thing that you're passionate about. And of course, if you know me, mine is reading and writing, because that is something that is so incredibly important to me. So it's been really great this year. I've gotten to do a lot of story times, and I've gotten to talk about advocacy for childhood literacy and stuff like that. But I think it would be fun to make more videos on my YouTube platform about books and writing because that is also something that's very important to me. And while I love makeup and I love fashion and I love vlogging, this is also something that I love very much and something that I'm actually going into as a career. I'm going into journalism. So yeah, I thought I'd make this video and this time I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to finish it. So let's talk about actual NaNoWriMo, not all of the background info. Obviously the 50,000 word goal is just unobtainable for me. I wanted to set a goal of 20,000, which I know doesn't seem like a lot, but I just know it's what I could do. For prep, I think what I really did wrong the time before was I didn't have a plan. Like I had how it started and I, I don't even know if I had how it ended, but I had a concept. And I've thought about that concept for the past two years or one and a half at least and I've developed it a little bit further. I think I have a lot more to it now. I ordered this book, it's Ready, Set, Novel. It's actually written by a lot of the NaNoWriMo teen people. Basically what this is, is it's just a writer's workbook. It's just so you can plan out your book. And I didn't do a very good job. There's a lot of exercises in it to get your brain flowing with ideas and I didn't really do them because I already do have an idea but it's just not fully developed something important to add to this is i really do like writing and of course 
whatever book I write, I would love for it to be published. But I'm really just doing this for fun and to prepare myself for college because I am, my major's journalism, so I'm going to be writing a lot. And so because we obviously didn't have school for as long as we usually do and my school didn't go online with coronavirus, we just kind of cut it off. So I need to get the brain going with writing again and just make sure that I haven't lost all my writing ability. But it is a plot I'm really proud of and it's a plot that I've been thinking of for years now and I haven't changed. Like the reason I know it's something I need to write is because I've been thinking about this for so long and my idea hasn't changed. I mean, it's changed in development, but the main concept and the main whole idea of the book hasn't changed and you know, the world building and stuff hasn't changed much. And so that's why I know it's something that I need to write. And so this is already so much more than I started out with last time. Oh, by the way, I put my NaNoWriMo shirt on, you know, to get in the spirit. But I'm really excited. I'll probably check in again tonight because I want to do some writing and we are going to start. I actually do have a chapter done of this book from the last NaNoWriMo and I think I'm just going to rewrite it because I know my writing style has changed since I was, was I 16? Yeah, I was 16 years old, so I'm 18 now, a little, a little older, so I think it'll be different. My food's here though, so I am going to go eat some sushi and then I will be back and we will start writing. Good morning, it is day two and I know I said I was going to check in last night and I didn't, but that's because it was really, really late. I didn't get any writing done yesterday, so, but I did download Scrivener which is like this writing software that's like made for novels. It's really cool. And um, on there, there's these little note cards. It's, it's really cool how it works. It's like you have your manuscript folder and then each chapter has a folder and then in that you can do each scene, but it compiles it all into one. But I went and I made a few chapter folders and kind of said what was gonna happen in that chapter which I think is going to be really helpful. So today my family and I are moving my sister into her new apartment. She's going to medical school. But it's like a three hour, four hour drive. So hopefully that'll give me a lot of time to try to write. Writing in the car is not very easy, but I'm going to at least try. I also have some videos I need to edit, but I'm going to try to put that on the back burner. So we made it to the hotel that we're staying at while we moved my sister into her new apartment. But I, I did not get any writing done on the drive here. I didn't even get my computer out. I mean, who was I fooling though? I, that's a really hard thing to do, to write, like in the car. So, I'm in the hotel room now and I think I'll be here for a while. So, I am going to probably make some tea and then actually go sit down at the desk. Like, not just sit in my bed, like go sit at a desk and get started. So I am going to start writing one thing that I know I'm already going to have trouble with that I need to just get out of my mind is, and I've talked about this earlier, just writing it down. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think so much rides on the beginning of a book. Um, if someone reads the beginning of a book and they don't like it, they're not going to read the book. And I feel like that first sentence is so important to grab a reader's attention. But something I need to remind myself is that I'm just doing this for fun and then if it ever does get published then it's something that I would have plenty of time to revise and redraft and so just write. Okay, I started writing. I am 143 words in, which, you know, I'm happy with. Um, I actually forgot how good this feels to like write and I'm kind of happy and excited. But during the school year, usually I'm doing a lot of writing for, you know, assignments and so creative writing and just like fictional writing in general doesn't usually come up a lot, but this is fun because you get to decide what happens. It's cool. I realized my settings for Scrivener are completely wrong. And so Alexa Dunn, she is a YouTuber, author tube YouTuber. 
Um, she makes some really, really great videos about writing, and I've been watching her videos a lot. She has one about how to format your Scrivener settings, and so I'm going to go watch that because right now, a lot of things are just not working right, and I'm pretty sure it's because of my settings. It is 11.20 on my third day of NaNoWriMo, I think. Yes. So today we moved my sister into her new apartment. And so I really didn't have much time to write. I think I ended up getting like 100 words in, but I'm not done for the day. I do have one little issue that I'm like, why is it not focusing right? Okay, I'm having a little issue. I'm trying to decide if it's still not focusing. I'm so sorry if this clip is out of focus. But the issue I'm trying to decide, should I count words that I wrote after 12 for the day before? Because the way I get work done, I work best at night and I don't mean like, oh, I work good at like eight o'clock. I mean like, no, like 12, like one, like that's when I get stuff done. And to me, I still wanna consider that, for example, if I wrote words right now um, after 12, which is in like 30 minutes, I would still count it for today. That makes sense, right? So today is day six. Yeah, day six of NaNoWriMo. And the past two days, I have not been very active. On the 4th of July, I tried to write, but I was just like so unhappy with what I was doing because I went back and looked at my NaNoWriMo from November NaNoWriMo of 2018. And I just liked it so much better than what I was like writing right now. And there was parts of it that I was like, oh my gosh, a cringy 16 year old totally wrote this. But overall, I was like, way happier with what I had written back then versus what I had written now. But then I remembered that the entire 30 days of NaNoWriMo, I just rewrote and rewrote that one chapter. So I hope it's good because I, that's all I did for a month. And so I think that's gonna be something I need to work on is not going back and reading what I wrote. I just need to, a lot of people keep pulling into my driveway. Um, I just need to focus on like getting it done. I really want to find like a write-in, a live write-in or something like that. A virtual, obviously. But I can't find any. And the NaNoWriMo one, there's one tomorrow, but there's not one today. My neighbors are outside. This is uncomfortable. I usually write in the backyard, but for some reason it was just like really humid out there. It's humid out here too. Okay, I was sad because I couldn't find any virtual write-ins and all of the ones that I found were like last night or this morning and I just missed them and so that was upsetting but I found one that starts in 15 minutes on word stitch write ins Chloe and Sandy's word stitch write in unless like you already are real comfortable with them so this morning and by morning I mean like mid morning I went to my favorite coffee shop cafe where I'm from and I had lunch there and then I just kind of sat for a few hours and wrote and I really I think I only got like 300 something words done but I was also like eating and distracted exciting thing is at that cafe I love it for many reasons it's really pretty the food's really great the people are nice like it's just a really good place to be great vibes um but most of all on their little outdoor patio, which is already really pretty. There's cats that live under the building and sometimes they'll come out while you're eating and just like sit next to you and just like watch you eat. It's the cutest thing. And so I haven't seen them in a while and I go almost every Tuesday, but I saw two of them today and they just sat around. So I was originally eating inside, but then I moved outside because it was just too cute. I can't find any virtual write-ins there's a bunch for tomorrow but i can't find any for today which is so annoying because before camp nanorimo the nanorimo instagram was going live like every day i feel like they were constantly going live and now that it's like actually camp nanorimo i'm like where are you guys they haven't even posted i'm like i need i do so much better whenever i'm like writing with other people virtually i don't know i just feel like it's like someone's kind of helping me and so I need them to come back. Today starts day eight of NaNoWriMo, which means it is the second week of NaNoWriMo. And I'm halfway through this video because I'm doing the first two weeks in this video, the last two weeks, the second video. But 
I'm super excited today because there is a lot of live streams that I saw that were scheduled for today. NaNoWriMo has their weekly one today. Um, so that starts in 15 minutes and so I'm going to watch that. Right now I'm at um, 2,756 words, which is definitely not where I need to be at all. But I think the way this month is going to go is some days I'm going to, is that a wasp? I think the way this is going to go, basically, is some days I'm only going to write like 300 words, like yesterday. And then some days I'm going to be able to write like 1,800 words. And so I think it's really just going to be one of those things that I'm not going to have a constant amount every day and like that's okay. And some days I'll write more to make up for the days that I wrote less. I saw something the other day on Instagram. I don't, maybe someone shared it. Um, it was like, gosh, what was it? The first time, the first draft is just you telling yourself the story. And I was like, whoa, that is like so helpful because I think I've been trying to like think throughout like me writing this, like, well, how is the reader gonna read this? Like, how is this gonna help the reader? But I just need to like put it down and tell it to myself and then I can worry about how the reader is reading it. I am going to start our five minute timer. I just thought I'd clarify something. Usually whenever I say I'm watching these live streams of people writing, it's really hot. You can probably tell from how red my face is. But usually when I'm watching these live streams, they do um, word sprints where it's just they set a timer and everyone writes and then after you share how many words you wrote or something that you figured out or something, you know, something along those lines. Um, and so we just had a five minute word sprint and I wrote a hundred words, which isn't great, but you know, we're doing our best out here. So I'll update you throughout this live stream with how many words I got for each round of sprints. Oh, and usually they have some kind of prompt, like this one was try to incorporate the word escape or stuck into a sentence and my character was on a fire escape. So I was like, oh, okay, perfect. But um, you don't have to follow the prompts. Sometimes the prompts are fun though because you'll try to incorporate them and then it makes you think of a new idea or just gets your creativity flowing. So even if you don't follow the prompt, it still helps you get a little more creative in some kind of way. Okay, second word sprint did not go so well. I only got 152 words and it was like 10 minutes. Okay, for this last sprint I did 167 words and I think it was 10 minutes too. So it is extremely late. There is no reason I should be up this late. I wrote 1,511 words today, which I think is pretty good. Okay, so here's my NaNoWriMo graph. Um, but today was the most writing I've done um, over the past few days. I am only 4,200 words in and I think I'm on the one, two, three, four. I'm on the fourth chapter and honestly, I haven't really put much thought into how many chapters or anything like that or how long of chapters, um, but I'm kind of realizing that, I don't know if I did it right, which is okay. That's something I can worry about later, like editing stage if we make it there. Um, but I did realize that I kind of like brushed over an event, just kind of said like, oh, the day flew by kind of thing. and. I actually think I need to expand that scene. I think it needs to be like a whole scene in itself because the next scene reveals kind of a question that hadn't been answered yet. And I think it needs more time in between giving out the question and answering the question because there's no suspense. It's just like, we have this question. Oh great, here's the answer. And it just, I feel like it, there's not enough suspense. But I started looking at it and I could write it tonight just to keep my streak up on the website, but I mean, I'm gonna regret that because it's not gonna be what I want and I'm just gonna have to change it anyway. I think I'm actually instead gonna do some reading even though I probably should just go to sleep. But because I've been writing, um, I haven't been reading and I don't know, I feel like I write better when I'm reading because I'm like, oh, this is how books should look, if that makes sense. Um, I never finished the, it's not the, last book. It's like the extra book in the Red Queen series. I can't think of what it's called. Oh, it's Broken Throne. And apparently in the last story in Broken Throne, because it's just a bunch of short stories, I started the last one, but I never finished it um, because I started reading The Trials of Apollo because I'm so behind on that. That came out so long ago and I'm so behind on it. But 
Um, apparently at the end it tells you like what ends up happening in Mary's relationship. I don't want to spoil it if y'all haven't read it, like who it is. But like, um, I didn't know that it went into that much detail and I saw it on Twitter today and I was like, wait, I need to know. So I think I'm gonna finish up that and then I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, hello Camp NaNoWriMo vlog. You should be very disappointed in me. I've been failing a lot. Um, so I, over the past few days, I've been judging a virtual pageant, so that took up a lot of my time. So like, that's part of the reason that I haven't been doing a lot. Um, one of those days that I was judging that pageant, I had to wake up like really early to do the interview portion. I like did my makeup, and so my makeup was done. So I went to the woods near my house with my mom and we took pictures and it was fun. I'm still kind of unhappy with how the story is right now. Like I just feel like there's parts that I could have elaborated on more, but I know that I can go back and do those things later. Like I don't have to write everything in order. Like I, you know, I can just like switch around. I don't really like doing that, but I'm just going to push through and try to like get to the next scene and like the next little section. Mm, I think I'm like at 4,000 something words. I need to be at 10,000 by tomorrow, so that's not gonna happen, but I really need to post a video today. And I've, I have a video edited, I just need to color grade it. And so, yeah, hopefully I get that posted today. So today is my final day of the first vlog for NaNoWriMo. I thought it ended yesterday, but then I forgot that I decided days 1 through 15 will be on this vlog. I just washed my hair, if you can't tell. But um, I'm going to jump on to the NaNoWriMo live stream real quick. It already started four minutes ago, so I'm actually late. Today I'm going to try to just like clean slate from my failures the past few days and just really try to get back in the groove that I was the first few days of NaNoWriMo. And then tonight, my goal is to get as much writing done right now. That way I can edit this vlog today. That way I can post it maybe tomorrow if I'm lucky, maybe the next day. I'm optimistic for the second half, which we'll just have to wait and see if I actually succeed. But I am optimistic for the second half of NaNoWriMo because I feel like I've gotten done a good 85% of the things I need to do before I move, which is a month away from tomorrow. And so like, I feel like I'm doing a lot better in terms of things I need to get done. And so I can put a little bit more time towards this, but I said that at the beginning of the month too, and I was like very wrong. So we'll see, I'm going to start writing. So today is technically day 16, but I realized I needed to film an outro for this video. Um, overall, not the best. I think the first half I was like really excited, and then I kind of got to a part where I was a little less developed in the story. I just really didn't know how to transition from the first little part to the second little part. Um, like I, I'm having trouble getting from the exposition to like the first call to action, and so... Yeah, that's where I am right now, like the call to action. And so I'm around 5,000 words if I'm right. I might, it might be a little more, a little less. I think it's a little less. But overall, not awful. Um, better than what it could have been, but not my best work. I'm really hoping that the second half goes a little bit better. And I really think it will. But overall, I'm proud that I got the amount of words that I did. Um, any amount of words is more than the amount I had before I started. So... That's really what matters with NaNoWriMo, is just starting to write or getting in the habit of writing, which I think this has really helped with. Um, it's also been really fun to see more of the writing community and just meet new people through that. I think that's really cool. I've subscribed to so many more like author tube channels that I thought were really cool. And yeah, so overall, great experience so far. 
If you're watching this video, by the time the next video is up, I'll link it down below, or if I didn't, it's somewhere on my channel, so go check that out. But if not, make sure you subscribe to this channel, that way you won't miss the second half of Camp NaNoWriMo, that way you can see if I succeeded or not. So if you're participating in Camp NaNoWriMo, let me know in the comments and how it's going for you so far. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.